Hi there, my name's Joe Coles. I'm a member of the communications team here at Crest Advisory, and we work with loads of organisations on their communication strategies. So from charities, think tanks, public inquiries, service providers, loads of people, many of whom are trying to set up their communications from scratch. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about communications uh, and how to put a strategy together if you're setting things up from nothing. But first of all, just a little thing about communications generally. Um, my brother likes to refer to communications as the colouring in department. That is very much not the case. And certainly good communications should be about an organisation really knowing how it's going to implement its strategy and reach the audiences and deliver on its objectives. So if you've got a good communications strategy and a good communications team, that's, that's what they should be doing for you. Um, so I'm just going to run through four stages of communications that you need to think about if you're pulling your strategy together. Uh, first of all, you need to think about your audiences and who it is that you're trying to reach. And most organisations will instantly think about their external audience that they're trying to reach, the, the person they might be trying to sell something to, or the person they're trying to communicate their core messages to. So they might instantly think, oh, we need to be talking to the public about this, we need to be talking to our stakeholders about this. Actually, it's really important to not forget your internal audiences as well, because they will be integral to you delivering those to those external people. So remember your staff, you might have a board, you might have some funders that you need to think about, and all of those, all of those um, stakeholders need to be part of your communication strategy. And I would say get some of those people involved in, in your communication strategy development, because actually that will make your strategy stronger. Uh, and then you can think about who your external audiences need to be, and obviously that might be the public. Some of those uh, within the public you might be thinking about young people, you might be thinking about older people, you might need to reach people in rural areas or cities, you might be thinking about people overseas. Either way, you need to think about those audiences and how it is that you're going to try and reach them. Um, and then I like to think about a real people test uh, and it's a little thing that I always do when I think about a communication strategy and particularly when you get down to your messages and your channels that you're going to use. I like to think about, if you think about your friends, your neighbours, your former colleagues, people that you know pretty well and you know what they think about things, apply some of those key individuals to your communications and it will make it more effective. So in the work that I do, um, I like to think about Sid, I like to think about Mrs Dawson and I like to think about um, a girl I used to work with called Helena. And uh, all of those people, um, when I start to get onto my messages, it starts to make your, your language and your tone much more real because you're actually talking to real people. So the second stage, obviously, is your messages. You need to think about what you want to say, but you also need to think about what you need to say. So most organisations will want to say, listen to us, we've got this great new thing that we're going to um, put out there and we want you to know about it. But you might actually need to say who you are, what your organisation is about and what you stand for. You might need to reassure people that you're an organisation that needs to be taken seriously. So think about both of those things when you're thinking about how your messages are going to come across. And then obviously you need to think about your language and your tone. Uh, you need to apply your real people test and what people are going to think about those words that you're using and the language that you've chosen. Um, and then the golden rule, you must always think what um, what pictures are going to get your messages across because pictures speak louder than words and you need for every message to reach your audience effectively you're going to need a visual image um, to effectively get that across so once you've done your audiences and you've got your messages you can think about what channels you might use uh, to reach those audiences with those messages so again don't be too prescriptive certainly don't start off thinking i need a twitter strategy because you you may not um, don't be prescriptive consult with your um, stakeholders and particularly your internal um, staff and, and perhaps some of your board members on uh, your ideas. You might want to be using the mainstream media, you might want to be thinking about social media depending on who your audiences are, you might have marketing plans and again they will need to be tailored to particular audiences. You might need to do some particular stakeholder engagement to reach particular people. Um, and then always remember your internal channels because it's really important when you start a communications campaign or strategy that everyone is on the same page. And as my colleague Charlotte would say, uh, it's really important that the people at the top of your organisation have the same messages and are communicating the same things as the people at the bottom of your organisation. And that is why your internal channels are so important. Um, and then finally, you need to measure it. 
So there are loads of tools out there that you can use. There's some free tools uh, on social media, Twitter analytics, those kinds of things. And then there are off-the-shelf tools that you can buy. You can subscribe to Twitonomy and Blue Nod. You can get tools off the shelf that you um, can be tailored to you and your organization. Um, and then the next step is you need to obviously agree that strategy within your organization. You need to make sure you've got a team and resources to, to um, deliver it. And then you need to do the actual work. So communications is a process that needs to be gone through. Effectively, you need um, a professional team to lead that for you. We're not just coloring in, we're delivering your communications and your objectives for you.